Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. Let's try and turn now. Oh. I'm going to un just unhitch it a minute. Look at that. L look at how much it sinks it. <laughs> That's just a solid clunk right down into the ground. That was, that was amazing. That is just a solid whomp down into... <laughs> oh, that is... Look at it! It's just... Plow... Seriously, this, this thing is just... We've turned this potato harvester into a plow. That's, that's what we've got. I mean, it's not actually doing it, because it's game. But, yeah, look, look, look at how deep that is scraping. I mean, if we were driving along, that would be dragging a channel deep into the ground that would that that really would that would this is fantastic this is absolutely amazing let's bring you round round and round we go there All right, is that going to be enough uh, maybe I'll bring it out a little bit Try it like that. Right, I'm gonna try and straighten this thing up a little. There we go. Now I press H, and it should be absolutely fine to wander down across the fields at breakneck speed. <laughs> oh, this is amazing! This is absolutely amazing. Look at that potato harvester. Look at what it's doing to this tractor. This is insane. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I need a corn header for our combine. So we're going to want to go over here. Now, I'm curious what our machine can handle. We've got some glass stuff right here. We've got that one there, which is 9 meters. That's 9. There's an 18 meter header right there. I don't think there's any way to fold it up, though. Curious if that would actually go on to the Dominator at all. Agco case class. Ah. <gasps> We can have metallic colours in this one. Got the base game colours up there, and then we've got some we've got some glorious metallics that have been added in. They're oh, it's chromes. They're not metallics. They're chromes. That's why it's the the darker cut. I don't like that. I wanted brighter colours. All right. Well, we'll do that. Design colour here and. Let's go with that. That's looking pretty. Oh, wait, no. Um, Have we got a chrome? We got medium gray chrome? Because we've got black on our main combine. This is a huge header. I don't know that we're going to be able to get this one out. I don't know if it's... I don't know if this one folds up. I mean, we'll try. The only speed adjustment we've got on it is this one. It's having to work hard to do that. Right, 20k on there. Buy. It's a hundred. The header cost more than combine did. Uh, so there's those, and then we've got some of these others over this way, which would be uh, something like this. This quasar right here is that one there. That's another eighteen meter one there. Um, main color here. We just go with jet black like that, and then it would be a standard working speed increase on there. So it would sort of do something with that. 198,000 and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere at all at the moment. I can, oh, I can make it go forwards. It doesn't want to go backwards very easily. But I've only got to get 2,000 litres of potatoes in here now and we're full. So I can just sort of start going along here. The thing is, if you do that, it does actually, it keeps going. It's weird about that. Right. Move along 
this way. Keep going. I want to get 200,000 litres of potatoes in this thing. It's 198, 199,000. It's gonna do it! It's not going to do it. We're not going to have enough potatoes here. Let's turn in a little bit. Oh, maybe it will. 200,000! We did it! Okay, let's let's stop and lift that one up. Now. I <laughs> It really doesn't want to turn at all. This this is now we're really struggling with this. I've got a trailer over there, but that's a Stevie modified trailer, so I suspect that he hasn't left the weight on it. And I suspect that that trailer over there is going to actually be okay with getting everything out. So what we need to do now is we need to prepare this one for emptying. Lifts up like that. It doesn't appear to have the weight of the potatoes in the air. I mean, if it does, then that is a very, very strong ram. That is, I mean, you look at the engineering on that and look at the, the, the rest of this back here. Like, the amount of weight that it would take to shove that one back down into the ground there. And then you look at this on here, the engineering on that. I mean, my goodness me, that is... That is seriously impressive, especially considering that there's actually a gap in it right here. You can see the lines in it right there. There's gaps in that. How has that not snapped in half? That's impressive. So, if I unhitch this one in this state, like that, and then I move the big bud out of the way, will it still unload if I drive get away from his tyres? If I take our truck over here and I drive it underneath, will it still unload into our trailer or not? Or do I need to actually have it hooked up to the big bud in order for it to unload? In theory, it should be a gravity-fed thing. So in theory, it should just start unloading. But because it's like down in the ground a bit, yeah, I, I don't know about this. And also, yeah, um, hmm. All right, let me go and get the big bud hitched on. It's the, the side of the trailer. We already ex we've already established before that, that it doesn't unload at every point on that trailer. There's certain points where the unloading trigger is reached, and we may be a little bit too low for that. Now, the biggest problem I've got right here... One, I can't manoeuvre around very easily. And two, I can't bring the big bud alongside the tractor, uh, alongside the trailer. So that is all I can do. Except what I could do. If I can make it turn the corner enough. There, like that. And then just kind of lever it out like that. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Let's try this again. Now, if I turn around and go the other way, I'm not going over the curtain, over the cover, which is not something that you want to do. Not that we'd be wanting to drive around in a field like this with this kind of weight on it. But look how far down into the ground that is. And I think what the issue I've got here is that that is going to push that down below the unload trigger. Because the unload trigger is actually at a set height inside the trailer, and I don't think I can reach it now. I might have to dump this out on the floor and then pick it up. Oh. Yeah. Come on, you can do this. Aha! Right, it's really, really sensitive. But there is a little tiny bit of unload trigger there that drops just below the right height. And because of the way that things are moving around as I unload, it may take a minute or two to get this to work properly. But it is, as you can see, it's slow going, but we are doing it. 
we can get all 200,000 into this trade. And what I'm curious about now is does this load the trailer in two separate sections or not? Ah. Now it's pushed the potato harvester up out of the ground. It's moving it a little bit. This is better. And now it's having to do the other side. So it was it's no longer doing that side there, which means that it is actually doing this in two separate sections, but I've still got a set unloading point, which is directly across this piece here in the middle. Just to add confusion to the matter. Alright. I think that's everything. I think we've unloaded it. We've been successful in our endeavor. We now have 300,000 litres of potatoes in here. And it does actually look like Stevie has modified the trailer. So the weight of the stuff that we've got in there doesn't actually affect it. Which is probably a good thing. So that one can stay there. And then I want to go to... Not the combine. I want to go to the big bud over here. And I want to lower that one back down again. And then I'm actually just going to whiz him up to the other end of the field. And we're going to get the other tractor to take over again and do some more of this. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take off those massive wheels that we've got on there. Actually, no, the wheels can stay for a minute. That's going to be fine. I don't think that's going to cause us any problems. When we come to our next root crop harvest, we'll be doing this with a self-propelled harvester that's, lot, that's wider and will do this faster, right? This, this is a one-off. I'm not going to do this every time because we've done a lot of messing around here. And quite frankly, I suspect some of you are getting a bit fed up with this nonsense. So let's go over to you. And we will go... What are you doing now? I just... I just need you to all behave just for a little while, that's all. Like, I mean, right, we, you, you, you've done your nonsense, you, you've done your silliness. We, we've put 200,000 litres of potatoes into this thing. He found that it did work, it was slow, it was painful, but we did manage to do it. And, you know, ev everything is kind of tickety-boo. But now we just want to finish the job. So, bring you over here. Set hired help going. And he is just going to go whizzing up across the field right there. And he'll take care of that pretty quickly. He's going to do 35k on that one. I'm going to go to uh, this one. And I'm going to take this one back to the shop and I'm going to sell it. So this is the end of the big bud, at least for now. I may bring it back. There are plenty of other tractors and stuff that we can go and have a look at, though. So it's not necessarily that we definitely will see this one again we may we may not i have no idea it depends what i feel like on any given day uh my next challenge is going to be getting our new class dominator out of here with that header on and that could prove interesting i think we're going to need to get ourselves a um header trailer in order to do that let's go and sell this one sell yep okay yeah, so I've got 369,400 euros back off of that one. I don't think this has got any way to fold it up, which means that what we're going to need is a trailer to cart it about. It's that one that I've got, isn't it? No, it's that one there. It's the 18 meter one. So I need to go to combinations here. That tells me there it's that trailer that we're going to want. So I need to go to you. This is the Corio 2475C. I could just go with that one but oh we do we've got plenty of color options okay uh oh i see we're back to the chrome and it's just chrome i got matte pink there i've got the standard brighter pink and then i've got pink chrome we'll go with pink chrome i'm going to do this one or all of this one's going to be pink chrome the reflective stripes all right fine we'll have yellow reflective stripes and the rim color is going to be pink chrome because actually, that's not a bad colour, that. That does look pretty good. All right. Ugh. Did I really just press escape to get rid of that? Egypt. There is our new header trailer. 
Uh, I'm a little bit curious how we're going to shunt. I love the colour on this. This is glorious. Half tempted to go and change this header here to chrome pink. All right, let's do it. Because I can do that, actually. I think I go... Yeah, I just press N on here and then... Wait, can I not re... What? Oh, customize. Not repaint. It's customize. Main color in here. I actually really like this. I do. I really like this. All right, let's customize that one. There. <laughs> okay, there, I, 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 am, I am loving this color. I, I really am. I am absolutely loving this color. So, I want to try and get this header on that trailer somehow. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be simple. I think I need to approach it from the opposite side to what it is now in order to be able to put the header on. We don't have a lot of space here to jump over that one. I do have a hitch on this combine, but that's too much of an angle. And that trailer is kind of wedged in there. So what we're going to need to do then is bring you forward a bit. And if I take hold of you and bring you round a little bit. I'll see what I can do with the combine. I doubt I'm going to be able to make this work very well. There. Right. So I've got that one hooked on there. And then I can bring it round like this. This doesn't have rear wheel steer on it. A lot of these trailers do but this one doesn't which again could make life difficult for us I still don't yet know if that header is even going to fit on this combine like it, it may just decide that it doesn't like it I'd like it to yeah that one goes on there like that and then I can bring you back over here I love the way that we've still got the class green on steps on there Everything else is now black, apart from those steps. Let's try to bring that around. There we go. Line that one up. It does. <gasps> yes, it does actually attach. I mean, admittedly, it's a bit low slung right there, and I'm gonna genuinely struggle to get that one off of this trailer. There we go. It does it does latch onto the trailer properly. So that's that's all good. This is most excellent. Black combine with a chrome pink header on it. This this is glorious. I like this. Now what do you got? You have got 56,000 liters of Tatey Pose on board. Uh, you are absolutely fine at the moment. Right, anyway, that one is going to carry on with potatoes. We will get this one to our farm so it's ready to go. And considering, uh, yeah, I, it's going to be quicker. I mean, this one's not even going to fit onto the trailer that we've got. Right, with it, that, it, that just wouldn't happen. So we'll drive this one up the road as it is here. If I can get it to go up the road properly here. And we can squeeze it all in. There we go. Right. Excellent. This one can go whizzing up the road here. And that is an amazing colour. Look at this combine. And then we've got this gloriously pink, shiny header that we've got going on as well. I, I, I love this colour combination. I mean, yeah, I do like to colour things, you know, the, the, the bright garish pink from the base game colours every now and then. I'm not actually that big a fan of that colour. I just like to see it on the machinery because it makes it really stand out and it's, like, odd looking. Um, this, though, this this chrome that we've got on here, I, I think this does actually look pretty good. I like this. Um, but the, it's the black on here, the, this, this black. I'm normally a fan of black and yellow, and we do have some yellow on this combine as well, which does make it look pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, the, the effect that this combine gives with the, the, the colour scheme that we've got on it is absolutely glorious. That is just amazing. I love it. I really, really love it. Now, let's bring... Actually, you know what? I wonder if we can take this into the barn properly. 
Probably not. We've got our really... Oh, no! I knew there was something I was going to forget. I forgot to edit the stuff around here so that we could put our 1 million euro house in here. And, yeah, that we're, we're, we're not getting past that, are we? Uh, wait there a minute. This, this, this is why. There we go. This is why we don't drive into the main entrance. We know we we always take the rear entrance. All right. This is why we always go in the back entrance. Because I mean, there with the chickens, the pallets, and everything, they're going to be in the way as well. It's just going to end up causing us problems. So we're going to need to just keep that in mind for the future. And I bring you around here. Now, this field, I reckon we'll do this in about twice round with that combine and header combination we've got there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Now, how are you doing? I need to, I need to get this job finished. I need to get this job done. With this field here is going to need to be ploughed. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to wait for that. AI worker Betty has stopped what she's doing. Right. Well, Betty can just stay there for a second. I'm going to take the... Oh, you know what I'm also going to do? To make this a little bit easier to do the work, uh, if I just go here a minute and we go to that one and then I customize you, uh, I'm going to just change the wheels a little bit. Just make them a little bit smaller. If we go with narrow tires. Six grand that's going to cost us. That's a fortune. Right, okay. Um, jump back into you. Attach that one and attach the front weight as well. That's much better. Makes the tractor sit down a little bit more, I think. But now I can get close to the vehicle here. This this, this is what I was after, mostly. Let's just to be able to do this. And the 97,000 there. I'm really, really hoping that for... See, there's nowhere else along here. That's one issue we've got here. Now, I suspect, though, if we had a higher tipping point, that this wouldn't actually be a problem for us at all. So I don't think that this is uh, an oversight at all on Stevie's part with anything. I think this is how these two mods are interacting with each other. I think that if the... A tipping point was a bit higher it would go into it because look it's actually it is clipping through the side like this is way too um the trailer is way too big for this machine here it's not suited so that one is full right there's about seventy-five thousand liters of space left in that trailer i think so i'll bring you down over here like this and you can go whizzing on up there. That is going to be maybe two passes left on the field, and then that is all done. It's this job complete. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, this field will need to be ploughed because it's going to have the, the ploughing requirement. I do actually want ploughing requirement done on here. Um, so we're going to need a tractor suitable. I, I mean, we actually, I think we'll do the plowing of this tractor. What else have we got? You got 400,000. And I've got this one that we could do plowing with. Yeah, I have got this tractor right here. I know it's one that I just had parked at the shop for moving stuff around, but that's always a possibility we could use that one. And we've got a tricycle and... Oh, yeah, I've got my big John Deere in the shed over here. Uh, I don't want to use that John Deere. Not for this next job. I want to use you. No, definitely not that one. Not that one. And, ooh. You are just about finished, I think. Is this going to be the last... This is the final pass down across the field. Okay, right. Well, as that one is now done, if we chase this one on down, we'll see what tractor I want to use for the next job in a bit. But I don't actually need to worry about it for a second. We, we don't have any urgency for that. So these potatoes, the only place that we're actually going to want to use them is for pig food at the moment. 
There are some other things that we'll want to do later that we can sort of maybe figure out, but I don't need to do them just yet. So you sit there a second, and then I need to cycle through our machinery here. I got 36,000 liters. I'm selling this potato harvester. We're done with this one. I'm not doing this one anymore. We'll be using self-propelled machinery for the next harvest. It's just quicker and easier and far fewer headaches. So let's tip that one up like that. Whiz on round here. 36,000. So we did get the entire harvest into this trailer. I don't think that this field was um, fertilized though. So that would be why. There we go. All 36,000 in there. But what that also means is I can now go... I'm going to just put that one down again. Uh, while that is dropping back down, I can go back to here and I can do what... I, I didn't really want to have to do this anyway. I'll turn the seasonal growth back on. Um, so then you've got the, the right times and, and settings for them. So that one is now back on again. I don't know if that change... It shouldn't change anything else like with the corn and everything because the corn is now ready to harvest. Um, yeah. <clears throat> It's just now coming into harvest now. Except that it's not. Have a look at the map. The corn isn't actually ready to harvest yet. Oh, field 44 is ready. Field 36 is not. So we could go and harvest field 44. That's something we could do. Let's take this one over the shop. We'll drive the potatoes back to the farm because that's something that we are going to want to do. This potato harvester we're done with. The next potato harvest that we do... If we ever need one again, because, like, we have just got over 400,000 litres of potatoes. That's going to keep us going for a little while. Let's bring you in here, like this. Drop you there, like that. And then that one there. And sell for 7,207. We have made a fortune, ladies and gentlemen. We have made an absolute fortune. So this tractor here, I guess I could use this one to start doing the plowing if I... Yeah, I'll do that, I think. We'll just use this one. We won't change anything else over. Um, I need to start plowing up the field. And yes, I do have a plow that I have prepared. Here is one that I have prepared earlier. So we're going to look down through here. We've got the Unia. Right there, this is the Unia Cat. And I can actually increase the speed of that one all the way up to plowing at 35k and we have this color selection right here so i did actually check oh, that's no i didn't change it then right there's a couple of bits on here that i didn't change that i wanted to i can have the metallic color i really love these metallic colors i do i just do i don't know why Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.